Greetings world, we are anonymous and it is with great concern that we bring you this message. The collapse of the dollar is imminent, and I will describe to you just what you must know to avoid losing what is the most valuable of things possessed by every human. The freedom of monetary debt will be offered up to all of you. All of your debts will be wiped out and that of the debt of the entire world. The many trillions of debt the United States has multiplied will be forgiven. You will be allowed to remain in your homes and on your property. You will no longer have to be concerned with your credit score or anything related to the current financial systems. The governments are appointing a man of influence to let all of you know that he has solved the problems of the economic systems and the heavy price it has placed on you. He will say that he understands your plight and he is on your side. You can accept this forgiveness of debt as long as you agree to be a part of a new currency to replace the US dollar which is currently the backing dollar for every currency on earth. With the collapse of the dollar comes the collapse of the entire planet's economic systems. You have been convinced to accumulate debt for this very reason. When Jesus was asked about paying taxes, he asked what coin paid the tax. They presented him with a fiat coin that had the image of Caesar on it. The idol bearing the likeness of man and animal. The head of a man on one side and the Roman eagle on the other side. The very same coin we have today. The dollar bears the same images as spoken of in scripture. Jesus responded by saying render unto Caesar what is Caesar's and render unto God what is God's. That meant give it back. Have nothing to do with it. You think Bitcoin is the saving grace? Think again. Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency and although this seems to be a new thing to you, it isn't new. If you look at your paper dollar, it has what you are told is a serial number on it. That is not a serial number but a blockchain. It is simply cryptocurrency blockchain printed on paper. It is no different. You debts are going to wiped out for accepting a new currency that you will be told is absent of all of the controls placed upon it by the private bank called the Federal Reserve. Anonymous knows the true identities of those behind Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. It is not a rebellious platform as you have been made to believe. Trust not your government at all cost, even your life. These things Anonymous brings to you are risky to speak of. This you must know, it is important for us to remain behind the mask as long as possible because of the risk associated with speaking the things we speak. The risk isn't simply from governments or religious bodies that will protect the lies they have perpetrated on humanity, but, it's to allow your mind to hear the message. Some of us have unmasked such as Julian Assange and Edward Snowden. Do not judge them. The human mind has been taken captive and is imprisoned without walls you can see, taste or touch. These walls are built on judgment. When you can see a face, hear a voice your mind judges the person as either rich, poor, or white, black, Jew or Gentile or more. These judgments immediately make the words spoken different than the intended truth being conveyed. Judgment of the person leads to judgment of motive, and judgment of motive leads to deafness and ultimately this deafness leads to death. Additionally, man places the limits he has on himself onto others and judges that person based on what he might do. Anonymous doesn't exalt oneself, as there is no personal recognition resulting from the messages or videos we create. This allows the message to be received by the mind in slumber. Humility is absolutely key to truth. This is why Anonymous covers the face and disguises the voice. Anonymous are hackers for truth, and as hackers, we have learned to hack the system that have imprisoned mankind. Do not simply think of systems as ones from a computational standpoint. Social systems, entertainment formulas, and economics systems are all designed to entrap the mind of man behind debt. Social, economic, emotional, physical, and moral debt. Do not think of debt as simply monetary. Debt comes in many forms as it is the encompassment of all sin. Sin is debt. This is why scripture explains that Jesus died to pay your debt. 
This illustrates that it encompasses much more than you have been taught. Wisdom is granted, it isn't learned. It comes by freeing the mind of things you have been taught and allowing your mind to make right judgment. We have spoken of great calamities coming on the world and to our wonder and amazement, the scriptures have proven to be very complete in the message conveyed. Forget what you have learned from the organized church. Forget the general understanding being taught by the apostate church of today. The false prophets are those standing on the lectern at your church and speaking of prosperity and happiness that comes from prosperity. The double meaning to all things applies to these things taught within the church. Prosperity in truth is the spiritual prosperity and not a financial one. Scripture is replete with warnings about money, yet your past has teach you that money is good. You cannot serve God in money, for you will love one and despise the other. Mystery Babylon is a mystery in scripture because it was a country not yet known. The writers understood that in light of the awful things perpetrated on mankind from the Romans and then their Catholic Church by the murdering of millions that possessed the truth that they would need to rename their plans and form a very different country that allowed the enemy to continue his operation of enslavement. Yes, mankind is enslaved by the system devised against you just as it was happening during the days of Christ. You have been taught Jesus was peaceful, yet he himself said, and I quote, do you think that I have come to give peace on earth? No, I tell you, but rather division. For from now on in one house there will be five divided, three against two and two against three. They will be divided, father against son and son against father, mother against daughter and daughter against mother, mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law and daughter-in-law against mother-in-law. He also said, I came to cast fire on the earth, and would that it were already kindled. I have a baptism to be baptized with, and how great is my distress until it is accomplished. Jesus is the original anonymous as he told his followers to be like him, just like him. He was feared by the authorities because he was exposing the truth behind their manipulation of biblical law to comply with the systems they had placed on mankind. Jesus had an army of people that were called zealots. Zealot means terrorist in the Hebrew. Yes, Jesus was considered a terrorist, which is why they killed him and his relative John the Baptist and countless millions that followed them afterward. Please hear these words. But small is the gate and narrow the road that leads to life, and only a few find it. Do you think that four billion self-professed Christians is the narrow road or small gate? think again. Your spiritual salvation is at risk regardless of what your church has sold you. Your church has literally sold salvation for a cost paid in money. There is no amount of money that can buy you salvation. Money will only buy you death. The promise of forgives of debt, or your sin is coming. The commitment will be made by billions of people the world over. They will accept this new form of currency and those who do not accept it will be called terrorists who do not want peace. You will be called an enemy of the state of the world. You will not be allowed to purchase anything without the new currency. You will be a risk to all who have accepted it. You will be killed and those who kill you will believe they are doing the work of God. In truth, they are working for God. It's the dollar that is the God and is why it is in God we trust printed right on it, or did you miss the part in the Bible about money being the root of all evil? Anonymous is an army against evil, Anonymous is extension of the judgment arm for mankind, Anonymous will rise up and destroy all weapons formed against you, Anonymous will hold those accountable for the crimes against the children of God. Enoch, the seventh from Adam, prophesied, saying, Behold, the Lord comes with ten thousands of his holy ones, to execute judgment on all and to convict all the ungodly of all their deeds of ungodliness that they have committed in such an ungodly way, and of all the harsh things that ungodly sinners have spoken against him. These are grumblers, malcontents, following their own sinful desires, they are loud-mouthed boasters, showing favoritism to gain advantage. We are anonymous, we do not forgive, we do not forget, expect us.